I thought I'd share an experience I had with a new mic preamp, or more specifically, a mic tube preamp. I came across a video on YouTube where this guy swapped the tube in his cheap mic preamp for a higher-end Russian-made tube, or valve, as the British would say. He gave brief before and after samples of himself talking into the mic with matching gain levels and concluded that he couldn't perceive any difference except that the Russian-made tube might be louder. The video was kind of cursory and disappointing, but it piqued my curiosity because I'm looking for an affordable mic preamp to fill an empty slot on my rack. I did some research that led me to believe the higher-end tubes are in fact an upgrade in quality and are used in higher-end gear. So I ordered a one-unit rack-mountable tube mic preamp from Sweetwater for around 200 bucks, and here it is. This is the Art TPS2. It has two channels with impedance, gain, and output controls, as well as 16 presets on each channel for use with different types of inputs like vocals, bass, piano, acoustic guitar, etc. Some of the presets bypass the tube for a neutral or transparent sound. Other presets utilize the tube for a more colored sound, while other presets are processed through a limiter or utilize both the tube and the limiter. The front panel of the unit has combo jacks for line and instrument inputs. The back of the unit has balanced XLR and TRS inputs, as well as balanced XLR outputs. I'm going to try and show conclusively the difference between the two tubes, if any using the same signal chain and settings, and hopefully settle the matter once and for all. So I hooked up the preamp to my Focusrite interface as a line input. I'm using Reaper as my DAW with the fader at Unity default level, no plugins. For the microphone, I'm using an Audio-Technica AT2020. On the preamp, I have the impedance set at 3K, and after a sound check, I had to crank the gain to 3 o'clock with the output at 12 o'clock. I also had to punch in the 20 dB boost pad to get a decent signal, which left me wondering if I had just purchased a pathetic, weak ass preamp. Especially considering I was using a condenser mic that did not require as much gain with my other preamps. Here's the voice sample with the stock tube. Testing, testing, one, two, three. A, B, C, do, re, mi, one, two, three. The rain in Spain falls mainly in the plain. She sells seashells by the seashore. And here's a synth sample recorded off my monitor with the same settings. Now to swap the tubes. I bought this Tongue Soul 12AX7 on eBay for about 10 bucks. Full disclosure, I am not a tube expert. I do know I need to get the top off this preamp to access the tube. There it is. It took some work to get the tube out of the socket, but I had to be delicate given the adjacent components and circuitry.
As you can see, the stock tube has no labeling other than to say it's made in China. Now to get this Russian tube installed. It was a little easier and I wiped it off because I read you shouldn't handle the tube with your fingers. So with the top cover back on, I can now install the preamp on my rack. Hopefully I'm not wasting my time by having to remove it later because it sucks. And with the same signal path and settings, here is the speaking sample. Testing, testing, one, two, three. ABC, do, re, mi, one, two, three. The rain in Spain falls mainly in the plain. She sells seashells by the seashore. As you can see, there is a significant increase in level. I had to turn the gain back down to 12 o'clock to match the level of the stock tube, but I still needed the 20 dB boost. After some reading, I realized the preamp without the 20 dB boost allows for louder, more dynamic input processing, like drums, and therefore more headroom to avoid distortion. Now take a listen and look at the synth sample. Here's the recorded talking samples with the Russian mod on top and the stock tube below. And here's the synth waveforms in the same positions. It's clear the Russian tube has more output. It also sounds uh, beefier, richer to my ears. I have a Fredenstein F609 tube preamp and a DBX580 in my 500 series rack. And the RTPS2 with the Russian tube mod definitely adds a new and interesting flavor. <laughs> 